hi welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be making some curry chicken I will show you how I make this beautiful meal so today I'm gonna be making one of my favorite go-to meals it's curry chicken um, <clears throat> I was soaking this chicken in some lime juice and water um, making it tall now it's tawed out I am gonna clean it up and cut it up and show you what I do after I've cut my chicken small I usually cut it really small and take off majority of the skin I run some cold water on it and put some vinegar in it you know Pour a little vinegar and this is my final rinse for this chicken before I start seasoning it. So all that slime and stuff that's on the chicken it'll come off and um, I will season the rest and you will see. So now that I've finished up my chicken um, I have chopped hot pepper, scallions, onions, I uh, have some thyme and some pimento seed and I will be using some Maggie all-purpose seasoning to season the chicken and um, may or may not add salt and then I have my garlic, my chopped garlic here. So I am also going to be using some betta pak curry. Um, I don't like to keep anything in plastic bags and betta pak curry is sold here in Canada in plastic bags. I believe it takes the flavor off the bag after a while so I place mine in glass bottles. So this is my betta pak curry and this is what I'm going to be using today. So I sprinkle some of my Maggie all-purpose seasoning and I add onions I cook with lots and lots of seasoning that's what gives my pot the awesome aroma and flavor so I'm gonna mix everything in and then Leave it to marinate. I'm leaving a little um, garlic because I need this to burn with my curry before I put the chicken in the pot. And I'm adding my pimento seeds. I am back. My chicken is seasoned. I'm going to let this sit and just marinate for maybe 20 or 30 minutes I'm also gonna be using some carrots and some potatoes in it and uh, again some curry salt and uh, that's my garlic that I'm gonna burn so I'll be right back I have um, put on my one of my favorite pots my Dutch pot and I am um, heating the oil and I'm getting ready to put my betta pot curry and my garlic to burn before I place my chicken that has been marinating so it has been marinated and it smells so good smells like it's already cooked <laughs> yes oh, and it's my potato and my carrots So, I like to do meal prep, like put everything together before I get a chance to start, so you know it becomes easy. So, now that my oil is hot, and yes, I know it's hot, I'm gonna add the garlic. And the curry. I never usually add curry to my chicken. I always burn my curry. This is what you call burning curry. 
I always burn my curry. And it's not only my chicken, it's any meal that I use curry to prepare. I hardly ever add curry and let marinate. I just think it gives it another flavor. Okay. So once the garlic gets, you know, a little burnt and the curry, I add my chicken. Add my chicken to the mix. And then I stir. And I combine. So everything is nicely combined and uh, all I'm going to do, I'm not going to add any liquid or anything to it. I am just going to cover it and then stir it maybe in another two, three minutes. Three minutes later, this is what it looks like. Now, as you can see, there's some gravy or juices in the pot. I haven't added any water and... Um, by the end of this meal it's going to have enough gravy and I will not be adding any water I'm just going to leave it just like this and just keep stirring it continuously covering it let it steam come back and stir again until it's cooked and that's that's pretty much it until it's maybe halfway or a little bit over halfway cooked then I add my carrots and and my potatoes so that you know they can cook also so I'm just gonna cover it again so that's three four minutes and that's what it looks like so I'm adding my potatoes and my carrots minutes of cooking it covered looks like all the juices all the gravy and everything has come in so I'm gonna cover it again and allow my carrot and my potatoes to cook which is probably another 10 minutes 15 minutes so we're on the final um, I made sure the chicken is cooked. I just uh, use my spoon to test it. And I also make sure my potato and my carrots are cooked also. Now, I use an electric stove, so even when I turn it off, the heat is still under. So now, this is my final, this is what it looks like when it's finished cooking. So I'm gonna turn the stove off. And, uh, cover it and that's it.